Alright, good afternoon to everyone, depending on where you are, uh, or good morning rather. This is The Gentleman's Look. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, uh, my name is Devon Darby, and this is a gentleman's channel that talks about everything under the umbrella of becoming a gentleman. Alright, uh, there's a lot of young men out there as well as mature men who uh, may be looking for assistance, whether it be openly or secretively, uh, of just how to be a man, how to be a gentleman in this world. So this channel just touches on various different things from your spirituality, which is a choice, but just to give you a foundation of virtues and things to live by to make you a more productive man in society. We also talk about your image, how you dress, how you treat others, the way you speak, you know, your gestures and mannerisms and things like that. All right. But today what we're focusing on is jeans. Okay. Jeans. title of this video is well how many jeans do you really need and which pairs or which colors of jeans do you actually need you know this is what we want to talk about today um, a lot of men a lot of men even women but we focusing on men uh, have a lot of jeans in their wardrobe just tons of jeans and a lot of them are not really getting used as much as others and you wonder why sometimes why you have certain go-to jeans and today you're gonna to find out exactly why that can be the case um, in my personal opinion, all right, a lot of, this is my opinion, uh, many may agree, many may disagree, but um, through constant um, trial and error, I've been into fashion for quite some time now, you only need three pairs of jeans. Truthfully, you only need three. To be very, to have a functional gentleman's wardrobe, you only need three. And that consists of a black jean, all right, plain black, no distressing, no fading, just solid black jeans, right? Well tailored, well well fitted. You're gonna need a pair of dark blue navy jeans, all right? Once again, no distressing, no fading, just solid navy dark blue jeans. And then you're gonna need a mid blue, all right? Now the mid blue jeans, you can have a little bit of fading. I recommend no distressing because at the end of the day, uh, again, in my personal opinion, you want to keep a clean, a clean cut when you're uh, dressing like a gentleman. So all of the ripped holes and you know all of the distressing, it, it just adds more of a, I want to say more of a street vibe. But if you, if you looked at my previous videos, I talked about you know the image that you want to go for depending on who you are presenting yourself to be. So if you're trying to be a classic gentleman, no distressing in my opinion, but. If there's a, um, a certain person that you're trying to betray or a person that you feel that you are, by all means, wear ripped jeans or, the, or distressed jeans anytime you want, all right? So we're working with three pairs of jeans, black, dark navy, and mid blue. And we're gonna dive in a little bit to why each one is important, all right? First, I'm gonna start with the black jeans, all right? Now, in my opinion, this is why every person needs a pair of black jeans in their wardrobe. Uh, if you work in any type of office environment, which most people do, um, but this can go for anybody, most times the alternative to wearing a suit to work or dress pants and things like that is a pair of chinos, all right? But if you want an alternative to, to wearing a pair of chinos, slacks, you know, whatever uh, you might want to call them, a pair of black jeans will do, do the trick. A pair of black jeans is like a black, it's like a plain canvas, like a piece of loose leaf that's ready for you to doodle anything on. All right, it's very versatile. It goes with everything, and it will always leave you clean cut and looking smart and sophisticated. All right. Also, black jeans have a slimming effect uh, if you care about that type of aesthetic. You know, if you're a larger guy, if you put on black jeans, it can tailor you out a little bit and have you looking more neat and clean and less showing more of the. Uh, you know, vulnerable places on your body which you probably don't want to be, you know, presented too often, if that's an aesthetic that you care about. But black jeans are just very versatile, and as you can see here, it can be paired with a white shirt, a white polo shirt, or a white t-shirt, and you can also dress it up with an Oxford shirt and a blazer. It'll still leave you looking sophisticated and smart. 
whether it be a uh, business casual or just you know sophisticated casualness and which I like to call it all right so if you're gonna buy your first pair of jeans ever or if you just feel like you want to get rid of all the jeans that you have and you're ready to start uh, reinventing yourself you always want to start with a pair of black jeans first because you you'll be able to swap it out for any attire you know whether it be you know a formal event even though in my opinion you should always have on dress pants but black jeans can work some magic I'm telling you right now it's it's very clean cut all right and also for street wear casual wear and what have you all right next you want to get yourself a pair of navy blue denim once again without the distressing without the fading uh, the navy blue denim well once you go into blue jeans you're starting to go into more casual wear all right but it's very versatile just like your black jeans it can be dressed down or dressed up navy blue jeans also they don't show so much wear and tear as a uh, lighter blue jeans so if you want to get a lot of wears out of a navy blue jean it wouldn't show so much i mean of course you should wash your jeans and stuff like that but it wouldn't show so much in wear and tear and it's also versatile again this could be dressed up as you can see in this picture this person has on in a plaid shirt with a blazer and he still looks uh casual but also respectable and ready to be taken serious all right as opposed to a lighter pair of jeans which is kind of hard to dress up all right so again first pair of jeans you should always go with the pair of black all right that's going to be your safety bet jean anytime you don't you have a struggle with putting something on you're not knowing what to wear a black jean is a go-to jean where you can just pull it out put anything with it and it'll look good all right your second pair of navy blue jeans for the versatility being able to dress it up for business casual look if you want to dress it down it can be paired with a polo shirt t-shirt pattern shirt or if you want to dress it up you can have an oxford once again with a blazer and still have that respectable gentleman's look you still be uh look like someone who's ready to be taken seriously all right so again navy blue and black so far next we're going to go into a mid blue jean now if you want to get your streetwear on respectably and um you just want to have a more casual look you're not trying to dress these jeans up in any way you need a, a pair of mid blue jeans these are straight casual in my opinion all right i don't think mid blue jeans are any type of um uh article of clothing as far as jeans that can be dressed up in my opinion you can try it might look good but at the end of the day it wouldn't work the way the, the more darker tone jeans would as far as a black and a navy pair of denim all right mid blue jeans you need that for your casual looks to be worn with your white sneakers you know your t-shirts uh not so much blazers but just pull over sweaters and even a hoodie or what have you but this is going to be your most casual jean all right guys so anytime you're not looking to do anything that relates to business or any type of formal look you're going to go for your mid blue jeans now with these uh three pairs of jeans you should be good you don't really need any other pairs of jeans now that's not me saying that <laughs> you can't go out there and buy you know some charcoal gray or whatever the case may be but with these jeans to avoid clutter in your wardrobe to make it easy for you to get dressed wherever you're going this is all that you need three pairs and you're pretty much good for you know any type of business uh, attire look that you don't want to have on your chinos or your trousers you want to just be more comfortable your pair of black jeans will do that for you pair with the Oxford shirt and the blazer um, again the navy blue jeans will do the same will do the same for you as far as the black would it just gives you a little bit more options because you can eat you can also pair these up with white sneakers that would look nice white sneakers will look good with the black too but not as much as a, a pair of navy blue would all right navy blue denim and they can be dressed up the same way t-shirt polo blazer same way all right and then you have your casual so you got business business casual and casual you're good you don't need to fill up your wardrobe most times when you buy too much stuff you're going to end up giving them away anyway so just buy the things that you really need and wear those things out and replace them when you're ready that's how you save money and that's how you save time all right so very simple guys three pairs of jeans that's all you need in your wardrobe if you want to buy more that's up to you but this will definitely have you uh looking smart casual respectable and like a gentleman as always all right uh if you haven't have these type of items in your wardrobe please you know make the adjustments and uh go out there and uh make sure you buy some jeans that actually fit you fit you quite well all right 
I hope you guys learned something in this video. Again, this is D Gentleman's Look. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification tab in case uh, you have you guys are not subscribed. You know, I try to post videos as often as I can. And again, it covers everything that involves being a gentleman. All right, I have some pretty good videos in store for you guys coming up, and I hope that you stick around for um, this journey. I love you guys as always. The gentleman's look. I'm signing. I'm sending you off in style. Bye bye.